What's up guys, it's Jeff with iDownloadBlog. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up Spire on your iPhone 4. Now, of course, Spire is the legally released Siri port for the iPhone 4 and other non-4S devices. You can use this tutorial in order to follow along and also install Spire on your device. Now, if you already follow our original Siri proxy tutorial, then this will be very familiar. It's basically the exact same thing up until command number nine. Once you get to command nine, there is a subtle change there that you'll need to note. So if you've already set this up, literally, you can just start from command nine and just go from there. Um, the command nine is basically just a subtle change. So if you already have the Siri proxy running right now using our previous tutorial, just start with command nine. There's no need to go back through all of these steps just to get this working. Just start with command nine and then go from there. Now, if you haven't set up Siri proxy, you wanna start from the beginning, obviously, and I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. Super simple, super easy. Literally, just copy the commands one by one as I'm doing here from our post on the iDownload blog and then post it into your terminal and then just follow the directions. It's really simple and then you can just go through it like this and get the install complete for Siri proxy. And then we'll proceed with the Spire installation. So. Just go through this, follow along with this video, follow along with the instructions on iDownload blog, and then you will be good to go. I'm gonna just speed this up. You can always pause this video to find exactly where your place is so you won't miss a spot. Just pause the video for your convenience and we'll just go through this entire Siri proxy installation. And then once Siri proxy is installed, we'll install Spire. And you can also reference our previous Siri proxy tutorial for a more step-by-step -step guide for the Siri proxy installation because we already covered that. But right here, I'm just gonna go through this, copy and paste one by one and speed this up until we get into the Spire portion of the tutorial. So enjoy. Siri proxy. Awesome. Now you have your iPhone 4S configured to use Siri proxy. That is a big step in itself. 
But the next step is, of course, the most important step of this tutorial, getting Siri running on a non-iPhone 4S device. That's the entire purpose of Spire, and we're going to show you how to do that right now. You will need a jailbroken device to do this, so make sure you have an iPhone 4 or whatever, and you have a jailbroken device. You have Siri installed right there, as you can see. So let's go ahead and open up Cydia and download and install Spire. So once Cydia is open, just go ahead and go to your search option at the bottom, the search menu, and then type in Spire and then do a search on that. And now you wanna go ahead and install Spire. Now the installation for this is gonna take a while because it is a 100 megabyte download. I'm gonna speed this up significantly to fit within our allotted time. But this is going to take you probably 5, 10, maybe even 15 minutes, depending on your connection. And then you also are going to need to reboot your device after it finishes installing. So just go ahead and tap reboot. We're going to reboot here. I've obviously sped it up quite a bit just to fit in the time limit we have. Once we're back up, you want to search for iFile and you want to go ahead and download iFile. Now, this isn't necessarily required. There are workarounds you can use to not use iFile, but I think this is by far the easiest method to get this working. So highly suggest that you use iFile. They do have a free trial as well. Next, you wanna go ahead and go to the App Store and download Dropbox because that's what I use to transfer the certificates. So make sure you have Dropbox installed on your iPhone 4 or whatever device you're using, just like you have on the 4S when you get Siri proxy running on the 4S. Once you open Dropbox, locate the certificate that you stored on Dropbox. It should be in whatever folder you stored it in. Tap on it, and then you should see a little link at the bottom left-hand corner. Tap that link and select Copy to Clipboard. Once you copy it to Clipboard, open up Safari, and then you just wanna paste that link into Safari. That will open up your certificate and allow you to install that certificate directly onto your iPhone 4. So I'm just gonna select install, install, and now you should see where it says trusted, tap done, and you should be good to go with the certificate. Now you wanna go back into settings, go back and then go into the Siri tab under general, and then enable Siri. So just enable Siri. Once that's enabled, just go back out to general and then go back out to the main settings page here, just like that. Now scroll down until you see Spire, now you want to open up Spire. Now we're going to type something in the proxy host section. So just type this HTTPS colon slash slash gazoni dot apple dot com. Make sure you type it correctly just like that. Make sure you include the HTTPS as well. Don't forget that S. Now let's go back to our home screen and we want to locate iFile. We installed iFile earlier. So just swipe over, find iFile, open up iFile, and we're gonna use this to point the Gazoni server to our Siri proxy server. So just go all the way back to your root directory, and then you wanna find Etsy. So there's Etsy, so tap on Etsy to open that folder up, and then you wanna find the host file, it should be H-O-S-T-S, -S. tap on host, and then you wanna select text viewer. So tap on text viewer. Now you should see your host file, it should have some data in there. What you wanna do now is tap the edit button in the upper left hand corner, just like that. And then tap and then maybe leave yourself a little space and then type the following. You wanna type the IP address of your Siri proxy server. In my case, it is 10.0.1.12. Yours will likely be different. And then space and then type in gazoni.apple.com. Make sure yours looks just like that. Of course, your IP address may be different depending on what your server IP address is of your virtual machine. Now you wanna go back to your root directory, go to var, and then you wanna go down to mobile, and then select library, and then go down into you see preferences. Once preferences is open, you should see the following, com.apple.assistant.plist. You wanna tap on that and open it with the property list viewer. Now. This could be a little confusing, just follow along, tap on accounts, tap on your hexadecimal value there, and then you should see two entries. And we're gonna add three more entries to those two. So tap the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner and type in the following, a space host. Make sure you type it just like that, tap create. Tap the plus sign again, then you wanna type in assistant space identifier, create, and then done. And then one more, speech space identifier okay and then create and now for the moment of truth will siri proxy work on the iphone 4 let's test it out test siri proxy
Success, ladies and gentlemen, success. Now we have Siri Proxy running on our iPhone 4. Let's test it out some more. Wake me up at 7.30 a.m. Setting the alarm. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Set an alarm for 7.30 a.m. How cold is it in Chicago? The low temperature in Chicago. IL will be 25 degrees. So folks, that is Siri Proxy running on the iPhone 4, courtesy of Spire. I know that was a lot, I know it was quite a bit of information, but it is truly easy to do. I'll have some more troubleshooting tips in the near future. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with the iDownload blog.